Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is detailing how I created these two batarangs. And if you've not seen the finished versions of these that have been printed and painted, you can click the little eye up in the right hand corner or the link in the description to go check that out. Okay, so I created both of these in Fusion 360 and the whole thing took me about two hours, so about one hour for each of the batarangs. And that was mostly due to the reference images that I found, um, especially for the Arkham City batarang because um, it basically had the pegs in place to allow it to be rotatable. And I actually have no idea who um, owns the image I found. It was listed on a page that was kind of just a bulk assortment of pictures, um, so I couldn't find the original owner, but I will put a link to the picture down below if you want to check that out for yourself. And then my basic process behind these was to um, insert the reference images in the background and then create sketches um, basically going around the details and creating the basic shapes for it and then I extruded the shapes up to about the size that I wanted and then I used a combination of chamfer and fillet or fillet I'm not sure which one it is um, to get the curves and shapes that you see except for on the um, Batman Beyond Batarang I used the draft function to um, get the center part that angled um, just because I couldn't quite get it where I wanted it to be with chamfer. Um, you can probably see me struggling with that a little bit. But there wasn't anything too fancy with these. It pretty much all came from the sketch and I didn't use any forms or anything. So if you guys have any specific questions about my process of creating this, I can certainly elaborate. So just leave your questions down in the comments and I will reply. And then I will just leave you to watch the rest of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.